Now at five, as police investigate an officer involved shooting this morning in Kansas, new legislation at the state house is on the minds of a lot of people. Yeah, and Brad, the bill could make evidence in police involved shooting deaths public, but only if the police officer doesn't face any charges. Our Abby Dodge is live right now in KCK where this morning's police shootout happened. Abby. Good evening, Brad and Ellen. We are live at 11th and Quindaro. This is where police shot at a man this morning after he opened fire on them. He was not killed, but if he had been, then a new bill in the Kansas legislature would make this entire investigation public. Um, lacking in the state of Kansas um, is the public's access to information and documentation um, regarding um, deaths that of an officer involved shooting. House Bill 2424 would require police involved shooting deaths to be investigated by two outside agencies. If the officer who fired isn't criminally charged, the entire investigation would be made public too. That transparency provides then um, the community trust and and, and know that there's accountability. It also then that transparency um, brings about better policies and better training, which ensures safety for everybody. Sheila Albers' son was shot and killed by police in their driveway back in 2018. She's been fighting for more transparency ever since. You have to be able to access the information um, and factual evidence around tragic situations. Sheila says the information around her son's death would have looked different if the law was in place. There are pieces of that media statement that are just not factual. And I think if there had been supporting documentation and evidence, that media statement would have been written differently. Um, and I also think then um, the accountability piece would have probably been different. The bill is in early stages, but Sheila plans to be there every step of the way. The next hearing for this bill is actually on Tuesday. Sheila told me she plans to be there and tell her story to the lawmakers there. Abby, are police concerned, though, about what a bill like this could mean potentially for them? So we reached out to the FOP, the Fraternal Order of Police here in Kansas City, Kansas. We left them an email and a phone call. They haven't gotten back to us quite yet, but I did look into this bill today. It's about 10 pages long. And in it, um, one thing that does not have to be included in there is the addresses and phone numbers of police officers, attorneys. There's a whole long list of people um, so that those things can't be searched and found out by um, the investigations going public. All right. Interesting. Thanks, Abby. And of course, keep us updated on this story as well.